Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Except today's coffee is actually tea. Coffee has really been upsetting my stomach lately. I'm having stomach issues, so I thought I would switch to tea until that clears up. So today's tea is from Dollar Tree, the tea vein. Uh, apple and cranberry. It's the last one I have. They haven't had it lately. So I did see the tea vibe chamomile last time I went, but I didn't need any chamomile. So I'm still hoping that they get it back in. We'll see. So, so far I'm liking the coffee maker. Like I said, it's not as quick as my old one. But anyway, I like the fact that it makes hot and cold coffee. So, Happy Easter, everyone. I hope that you have some nice plans, and if you're by yourself, that you have some nice plans to treat yourself to um, some kind of special meal. It doesn't have to be complicated, even if it's a pizza. So here I have a little bit of syrup that I put into a repurposed bottle. So I'm going to add a little bit of syrup, not too, too much, because I also want to add some of this honey, vanilla, and cinnamon great value creamer. So I'll put a little bit of that in too, not as much as coffee just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to let this steep for a minute or two. <clears throat> so today the high is going to be 56. It's sunny. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's not the warmest, but I'll take it. It's better than what we were having. So, um, this morning I have a couple of things in the refrigerator that I want to use up for breakfast and I'll show you what that is when I get around to it. Uh, trying to think. Yesterday I don't think I spent any money but I have to check that out. I'm not sure. I did a couple days before but We'll figure that out when we get to the budget book. So no gardening today. I'm making a dozen deviled eggs to take over my daughter's today. And I also picked up some little hors d'oeuvres and snacks. And a strawberry, <clears throat> it's like a little bunt cake uh, that they had marked down at Walmart for $5.00. And my one grandson loves strawberry cake, so I figured I'd pick that up. Um, what else? Oh, some cheese, some Aldi's cheese tray. I picked that up. So my daughter and my son-in-law are very good cooks. So they will uh, have a lot of food there. And they always have something for me because they know I don't eat meat. So, and a lot of times I take something with me. I'll take a burger patty or uh, some chicken, not chicken, whatever I feel like eating, and then uh, just heat it up when I get to my daughter's house. And it works out perfectly fine. There's always lots and lots of food there. So much food, it's, it's just a feast. So, okay, um... I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast, and then I will meet you at the budget book. I think I can taste this now. Let's give it a taste before I go. Cheers! Really hot. It's good. It needs a little more steeping. <clears throat> and apparently, you should cover your tea it keeps the flavor in. So I'll give this a cover and then let's see. <clears throat> I think I have one in here somewhere. 
Uh, yes, there it is. Hang on a second. Okay, I picked that up on sale somewhere. I think it must have been Mark's around the fall a few years ago. It's just silicone. All right, <clears throat> I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. Okay, this morning for breakfast, I had some potatoes, mashed potatoes left over from my dinner last night. I, I had too much on my plate. So I put bacon bits and cheese on there. And now I'm going to add an egg. So there we go. That's my breakfast for this morning, using up what I have in the refrigerator and freezer. Uh, I have Walmart Markdown bread with some Dollar Tree strawberry jam. And I think that looks pretty good. And a few things left, or a few things gone out of my refrigerator. Well, okay, I just got back from my daughter's. We had a really nice time. Lots and lots of food, as always. And uh, I took over a bunch of hors d'oeuvres. I picked up a couple of things from Aldi's the other day when I went shopping, and they were very good. And they even liked the um, the little garden chicken tenders. <laughs> Those all went too. So um, they're going to be going on vacation, and my grandson is staying at their house next week. So um, I hope they have a good time. So anyway, uh, I want to get this video posted. Um, Nothing much else going on here today. No gardening, no decluttering, really no cooking. So, and I still have a couple leftovers that I'll be eating within the next couple days. Still trying to get the stuff out of my refrigerator and freezer. It's, you know, never ending saga. So, anyway, um, I have to take care of the dogs. I just got home. They need to go out and they need to have their evening treat. They get a treat every evening and they know exactly what time. It's treat time. So, <laughs> they have a built-in clock. So, all right, my friends, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I did. Um, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and remember why we celebrate the season. Um, it's not just an Easter Bunny holiday. It's, uh, it's a day of celebration because Jesus arose from the grave. So, and uh, that's all I have for you today. All right, see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.